hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is Bria as you guys can already see from the title of this video I'm going to be talking about shocking facts about Ireland things that I wouldn't have thought about about Ireland or even the Irish people things that were new to me when I came here so I'm just going to be talking about shocking facts about Ireland from in Nigeria's perspective if this is something that you want to hear or something that you want to know then please to keep on watching So the first thing that I noticed here that was very shocking to me was the fact that Irish people don't like when you tell them sorry if you don't do anything directly to them. So for example, you know in Nigeria, from where I'm from in Nigeria, if someone is working and then the person falls down, you know people be like, oh sorry, sorry, oh sorry, are you okay, oh sorry, are you okay? Do you know in this place? If somebody falls down don't tell the person sorry god i'm begging you don't tell the person sorry because they'll ask you sorry for what oh no you didn't do anything why are you saying sorry like it's something that was very shocking to me because one time i was actually walking with grace and then there was an elderly man that was walking past us and then the next thing he fell down and then we're like try going to you know how with the nigerian mentality you rush kind of like you know help the elderly man up so we're trying to like help him up and then we're like oh sorry sorry are you okay and then he's like oh no no why are you saying sorry you didn't do anything to me and also like in nigeria where i'm coming from if you want to if you want someone to help you pass something or you want someone to help you you know bring something or you maybe want to pass and then someone is like blocking your way you kind of say oh please can you excuse me or oh, oh sorry please can can i pass and then again if you want to give your opinion on something you're like oh sorry please can i say something or oh sorry it's not like that or oh sorry they hate when you say sorry not like they hate it but i know for a fact that they don't like when you say sorry to everything like sorry when it's not needed when i went to like a, a, a supermarket to kind of like you know get things and i was trying to i was on the queue and i was was my turn and i was done shopping i was packing my things into the bag and i noticed that i was wasting time and then i turned to the lady behind me i'm just like oh sorry please i'll, I'll be fast and then the next thing she's just looking at me like sorry for what like what's wrong with this girl <laughs> so i kind of like asked people i'm like is it that you people don't like the word sorry here in ireland or something and they're like oh no they don't they don't see the need for sorry that why do we or they've noticed that like we africans like we usually say sorry a lot and they don't like when you tell them sorry especially when you did not directly do anything to them then the next shocking thing that i actually noticed here was the way they actually pronounced their names i'm going to be leaving things on the screen right now now pronounce this word that you're seeing here just i'll give it three seconds pronounce it from the spelling a o i f e what's this well, just pronounce it as you're watching the video pronounce it do you know the irish people i think that the way they spell their names is different from the way they actually pronounce it and that's something that i got to understand a o i f e is pronounced e -fa. Would you have thought that that would have been the pronunciation ifa you know like in nigeria from nigeria's perspective for example if you see a word that's even a traditional word for example b o m a it's still pronounced at boma you can kind of like use the vowels and you know the way the, the letters are to so kind of almost get the pronunciation of the word but in ireland here the way they spell their names and then the way they pronounce it are like two different things so for example i already stated ifa a o i f e who would have thought that it would have been pronounced as ifa the second one s i o b h a n pronounce it i'm giving you two seconds good now the pronunciation is shivon would you have thought <laughs> would you have thought you know i really like it like it's, it's actually a like i think it's part of like their language i think it's called the gaelic language or something it's a way that they pronounce their irish names and it's so different from their spelling and that's something that was really you know very um shocking to me because i now almost got into trouble with one of my classmates back when i was studying so her name is n-i-a-m-h pronounce that word now as a nigerian or as an african or wherever you're watching me from and you don't know how irish people pronounce their names pronounce n-i-a-m-h do you know that in school there was this lady that was in my course and i used to call her niam like <laughs> you know how it spells like you kind of call her niam and then just forget the h and because to you it's almost silent but then it's actually nif and it amazes me because i'm just like N-I-A-M-H, how is that NIF? 
A O I F E. How is that? Ifa. Ifa. If I was a Nigerian spelling Ifa, I would have probably spelled it as E F A or I F A. Ifa. Not A O I F E. <laughs> and it was actually something that was, it really took me a while to like understand. Another example here E O I N. It's pronounced Owen. It's the way we spell O W E N in Nigeria. So E O I N is pronounced Owen here. Like it's actually very sexy to so be very honest. I like that the spellings are actually different from the way that they pronounce their names. And then another shocking fact I actually noticed here or that I actually heard about here is that there are no snakes or lizards in Ireland coming from Nigeria yeah <laughs> if you want to find snakes you kind of like go to the forest or bushes or somewhere but here in Ireland I, I didn't even really notice it like I heard from an Irish person that there are actually no snakes here in Ireland and there are like no lizards you know what we call lizards now there are no lizards and there are no snakes as well in Ireland and also I even also forgot to mention this another example with the pronunciation for example this is not a name but this is a, like a word so F I L M as a Nigerian or as an African or whatever pronounce F I L M to me I'll pronounce it as film but to them they pronounce it as film do you know that so when I used to tell some of my friends like oh I want to film today and they're like and they're repeating it back to me i noticed it on one person feeling but i i ignored it to be honest i ignored it at first and then i noticed it in a couple of like more of my irish friends that I actually talked to and i noticed that they pronounced the word film as film so yeah and then another shocking fact that i actually noticed with the irish people if you go to a restaurant let's say for breakfast and then an irish person is ordering boiled egg for example you know how in nigeria or nigeria i'm um, anyways i'm speaking from a nigerian's perspective so in my country nigeria you kind of like if you want to eat boiled egg after boiling the egg you crack it and you open everything like you break everything and then you put it in your food and you eat it. The Irish people actually use a cup. I'll kind of look for a picture and put it on the screen. So the Irish people actually use something they call a cup. So all they do is just to use a knife or a fork and tap and crack the top part of it and then use a spoon or a fork to kind of like scoop it and eat the egg. So <laughs> when I saw that at first, because I know that I went to like a restaurant one time and I was cracking my egg and I was peeling everything. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it was so embarrassing. And then, like, a man beside me was just doing it the way I just described. I'm just like, ah. And then it just clicks to me because even when you go to get boiled eggs, like, let's say you go to a restaurant to get boiled eggs, they don't sell, they don't give you the eggs like that or put it in your plate. It always comes with like an egg cup. So I thought that maybe that was just like, you know, the plate for the egg. I didn't realize that that's how they actually eat their eggs. So that was actually very shocking to see. The first time I said, I'm just like, eh? what i'm just like maybe they don't really break everything they actually do not break everything and that was actually you know very shocking to actually see and then another shocking thing that i actually noticed at first when i came here was the fact that i think everybody should know this but was just the fact that you don't call their lecturers mr or sir or madam or miss or missus you know how in nigeria now who we used to do our if um salutation adding salutation is the most all those oh mr this or lecturer this or professor this doctor this doctor that here trust me they don't really care like that so for example dr andrew was my lecturer when i first came here um for my first semester and then i noticed that they were just calling him andrew andrew and then the nigeria in me was just like ah uh -uh, eh? <laughs> what is the meaning of this oh, i'm just in my mind like ah uh, is this how these people do yeah where's the respect like the nigeria and then the respect in me or just like eh, these people are rude though not knowing that that's how it is for them here yeah, they don't really care about you know putting like the whole doctor not that they don't respect you but like even an elderly man that is like 60 or 70 or 80 they would call the person by their names and it's not like these people these elderly people they don't even mind they, like, they don't care that's how it is here for them unlike in nigeria where whoa if you want to greet your lecturer 
Well, you can even say good good morning, Mr. Chamasa. Like, is that bad? <laughs> Quite of messy. I do sleep sometimes, and then I see I'm just like, oh, Mr. Andrew or Mr. Neil or something, and then they don't really mind, to be honest. And then the last shocking fact that I'm going to be talking about today is that Irish people are actually patient. I kid you not. Like, they are actually patient. So let me just see. I think if you guys have seen this vlog, you understand. You know the story already. So there was a certain time I was traveling from Cork to Dublin to you know see my best friend and all of that and then the bus broke down and we were waiting in the bus for about two hours for them to bring another bus from like a nearby um, location to you know take us to Dublin and how everybody was so patient and so calm about the matter was really shocking because whoa well, from where I'm from Chineke if your bus should break down and you are telling Nigerians to sit down in the bus and wait two hours for another bus to come back they will leave your boss when you're not the only one. They will leave your boss. They can even start telling the driver to even return their money that they want to join another boss or they want to use a like a bike and go for that. Nigerians will not sit down there for two hours doing nothing because he said they are bringing another boss. They will find a way. So the Nigerian in me was just so I was so worked up. I was so bothered. I was just like, ah, all these people sitting down here, we are sitting down for two hours. Nobody's even complaining. No, they like they didn't complain once like nobody complained they sat down there very patient you know waiting for the bus to come and i was like hey it can never be nigerians well we would change it <laughs> we will legit change it so that's something that made me just realize that all oh, these irish people are actually very patient that is something you know nice to see and because nobody was shouting and nobody was complaining I sat down too now, I did not say anything, even if it was disturbing me in my soul, I couldn't have said anything. I also sat down there and waited for the bus to come. <laughs> and then another example that I also say here is that Irish people are very open, like they would legit talk about their plans freely openly like they they know how to start a conversation even with a stranger even with someone that they don't know about you know how in nigeria back in my home country like if you for example let's say you want to travel abroad trust me the percent of people that will know that you want to travel abroad will probably be like 0.2 percent a lot of people will not know to like you're already abroad but the fear of oh let me not go and jinx it or village people let them know here let them know, know my plans or i want to keep it silent till it works out that kind of thing it's not these people though. well these people they're very open like if they want to travel next three months off they were already told that oh me by next in the next three months let's say they will even tell you the dates that i'm going to be traveling they're very carefree they have nothing in their hearts like they're really open like they don't see anybody as an enemy unlike nigeria that <laughs> you are afraid of your million people they don't see anybody literally like as their enemy that's me in my country well that's some information that i will not let out me personally as nigerian that's some information that i will not give out till it has actually you know actualized that kind of thing but with them they'll stay if it happens well if it does not happen mm, mm -hmm, that kind of thing so yeah that's it so yeah we've come to the end of this video these are the shocking facts that i noticed or i heard about as a nigerian um living in ireland if you enjoyed this and you want to see part two just let me know and i'll do something of that sort thank you so much guys for watching and if you did enjoy it please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell there beside the subscribe button i'll give it a second okay subscribe hit the notification bell mm -hmm. gracias thank you thank you so much guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah. i love you <laughs>